Genesis chapter 35, verse 10. And I'm here because I'm showing you that you keep hearing me saying that we're 12 nations that make up one nation. This is what it says, read. And Yahweh said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. So the Most High changed our forefather Jacob, who's the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. You understand? He changed his name from Jacob to Israel. This is what he said. But, but call his name Israel. Verse 11, and Yahweh said unto him, I am thy Elohim Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. So be fruitful and multiply. Otherwise, have a lot of babies, have a lot of children. A nation. A nation, like I said, a nation. That's the 12 tribes together. Right. A nation, read. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. There it is. You see? So we are a nation and a company of nations. That's right. That's why you see the different tribes here. Not necessarily as we as you see here, because we scattered among all nations. Not specifically just there, but we scattered among again Deuteronomy 2864. We didn't follow the most high's commandments, his rules and regulations. So he told us he's gonna do this to we as the children of Israel. Do you want to follow me? So hey, this is what he said I'm gonna do to you. Many things he's done to us. But we can come out of this, y'all. That's why I showed you. Uh, now how you can come out of this, me? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Bring it on. And Yahweh shall scatter you among all people from one end of the earth even to the other. And there you shall serve other gods which neither you nor your fathers have known, even wood and stone. Bring it on. He's going to scatter us among all nations. And when we go among these nations, we're going to serve all these different religions. That's what it's talking about. Because all these religions are dealing with a wooden cross, you're dealing with uh, Buddha, you're dealing with Allah, that black stone, it's wood and stone. You'll see that wooden cross that they put on the church, they paint it, whatever. They got all these idolatry things in the churches. They bowing down and worship wood and stone, you know. This is what we're doing among all nations. Jeremiah 17 and 4. We messed up. You're right, baby. We messed up, but we gonna change. We here to show you that's gonna be a change. And Obama ain't gonna cause no change. That's what right. kind of change y'all got from Obama? <laughs> What'd you right. say? Some pennies? What'd you say? Some nickels? What? Some dimes? <laughs> that's about all the change you got, right? That's about it. That's about it. Right. Read that. Bring it out. <laughs> Jeremiah 17 and 4. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. He said we're going to discontinue from the heritage that the Most High gave us. Heritage means the land that he gave us, which is the land of Israel. That's our land over there. Look, get Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. Hold where you at. Deuteronomy 8 and 10. He said we're going to discontinue from our heritage that the Most High gave us, the land that he gave us. Right. And here we are now, man, scattered among all these nations doing all kind of crazy stuff. Brains polluted. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. We talk about inheritance. So the Most High divided all the nations. He didn't integrate everybody like you see here in America. Read. When he separated the sons of Adam. Yeah, what? When he separated the sons of Adam. No, he, everybody can live together in one great melting pot. What did he say? When he separated the sons of Adam. There ain't no integration in that at all. He separated the sons of Adam, read. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. According to us, man, we the children of Israel. Now, if, it, if it's, and you think America is right with all these different uh, race, race, races going together and being together and say the most high about separate. Let's see what the Mashiach Yahweh Shah, the world false called Jesus Christ. When he come back, what he's going to do? Give me Matthew 25, 31. Let's see if you're going to be able to be joined together hand in hand and loving these other nations. Let's find out what he's going to do when he come back. The first thing he's going to do when he come back. 
show you how wicked this place is, man, and how our mind's been polluted. Right. Matthew 25, 31. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. He coming back, man, to judge and make war. He coming back in his glory, read. And all the holy angels with him. All the holy angels, uh, Revelation 9, 16. He coming back with holy angels to come back to be in his glory, right? Listen. Revelations chapter 9, verse 16. How many angels he coming back with? God. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000. Thousand. He's coming back with 200 million angels. That's the number he's coming back God. with. 200 million angels. That's right. An army does what? Make war, man. That's he right. coming back to no peace. That's why you better get yourself together, man. Gonna be a whole lot of enemies of his that's gonna burn. Right. That's right. He's gonna burn them up, man. Bring it out. As it is written. I'm here to warn you and to bring you back to repentance, man. You got an opportunity, people. Read. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Come back with these 200 million angels say. He gonna sit on the throne of his glory, read. Yeah. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Listen. Before him gonna be gathered all nations. Right. Read, what are you gonna do? And he shall separate them one from another. I thought we gonna be okay to be integrated. Yeah. <laughs> you know what he said, he gonna do what? And he shall separate them one from another. Right. Well, separate these nations one from another, read. As a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. A shepherd right. divides his sheep from the goats, man. Right. That's what he gonna do, read. And he shall set the, set the sheep on his right hand. Set the sheep. Remember he said in Matthew 15, 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Right. So he's going to set the 12 tribes of Israel on his right hand. Read. But the goats on the left. But the goats on the left. So you got to look at this, what he's saying in the word. And you got to look at it spiritually. Daniel's 8.21. Because who are the goats? We're going to set the sheep. We know that we the sheep. Negro, Indian, and Latino, the sin people of these 12 tribes. We the sheep. But right. well, who are these goats that he's talking about? That's right. He can't just come out and say it, you know, because he's in the Roman Empire. <laughs> like certain things you see in the Bible, they ain't just come out and say it like, you know, you wouldn't know that they talking, who they're talking about. You got to figure it out. It's a puzzle, man. It's a, this is something that's, it's like riddles, parables, and so forth. That's why it's not open to everyone, but it's open to you. But you're already pretty much there. And a lot of you down here understand this. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 8 and verse 21. And the rough goat is the king of Grisha. The rough goat is the king of Grisha. There, I mean, I couldn't be no perfect. Then look, 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 look. High, high, highest of, <laughs> the of the God. Couldn't be no, no perfect in the spirit, right? There it is. The so-called white man. He was a, you know, Alexander was the first king that ruled in the Greek Empire. So if you have the mindset, okay, this, this is what you gotta understand. The reason why I'm going through this, I want you to understand spiritually why. I started out with your brain's been polluted. Give me uh, Isaiah 47 and 1. We got to go through this so you understand why we're in the condition we're in at this time, this day and time, because it's very important that you don't know who you are. Take your name out of existence. That's why you see these other nations coming down here, now they're going to act like they're us. That's the Ethiopian, man, they, we're not African. I'm right, going to tell y'all, right, right. you ain't no African. Ain't no African ever said, come back home, baby. Right, right, right. right. I come to get you there. One day, one of our women. Bring it out. But they hate us yeah. as men. That's right. 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 Read this. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Psalms 137. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughters of Babylon. Yeah, say so sit in the dust. You're going to be in the lowest state. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon? Who is that? Let's find out, read. Psalms chapter 137 and verse one. Bring it out. Okay. Verse seven. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom. Right, so he said, remember the children of Edom. But we looking for who's this virgin daughter of Babylon, right? Cause you think, oh, you talking about the Ethiopian? Nah, he's talking about a certain people. 
All right, all right, my brother. Shalom, man. Peace and bless to you. Go ahead. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. That's right, man. Every time we had anything, man, they destroyed it. So we hate it. Because y'all think they love you. Because you love them. But they hate us. They said, destroy it, even to the foundation thereof. So who is Edom? O oh, daughter of Babylon. Do it need to get any clearer? Do it need to be any clearer? So when you see how the Bible's written, you understand that it's written so that the brothers and sisters that would come on this earth would understand. It's all to your mama. It's all sad. Because you lost. You just lost. <laughs> You know? Huh? You seen that? <laughs> but he, he knows. I said 10 years by now, you know, he know who he is. You see what I'm saying? He know he's not us. He know we don't have nothing coming, so that's why he's going to do that. He would do that. Yeah, he know. I've been here 10 years, man. He know. They know who I am. They know, they know what's, what's going on. And he know he didn't fit into this. Oh, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like Edom over there. He don't, he don't, he know. <laughs> he been there for a long time. He ain't, been, he ain't going nowhere. He know. So Edom represents the daughter of Babylon. You see? Me? Oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. So Y'all can love him all you want. You can do whatever you want to do. You better start loving Jacob. You better love Israel. Love your people. That's right. That's what it's all That's about, right. man. Stop getting. Anybody else out of your mind? Can't we have a half an hour of time where you just think about yourself? You think about salvation for yourself? Right. Why has it got to be for everybody else, man? They don't give a damn about you. Right. Nobody. Who care about us? Where the change at? It's time for change. Where the change at? Right. For us, that's made our life better. You mean to tell me they, they can't take everybody off the street here in uh, no. Skid Row? Why they can't? They got enough money to do it. Yeah, they won't do nothing. They have, they have the money to do it. They just don't give a damn. Me. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall be he that rewards you as you have served us. Look, at every time we come, here come one. <laughs> That's the right. spirit, right? right? Here come one again. I mean, what's the, what's the chances of that? That's them. That's Edom right there. But see, our people sitting around, oh, don't talk about Edom. Don't talk about the white man. He's our friend. Look at us. Look, he, see, he know. Look at us. He got spirits on him. He know. <laughs> Look at him. He know. He, he laughing. That's probably a spirit from old. You know what I mean? Coming back right now. Oh, you recognize me, huh? <laughs> it's not my time yet. Huh? <laughs> Be. <laughs> Happy shall be he that takes and dash your little ones against the stones. Right, man. So Isaiah 47 and 5. So now I'm just showing you how we've been polluted. Our brains been polluted. Diabolically so. Read. Isaiah 47 and 5. Sit down. Slant. And get down. And get thee unto the darkness. He said, sit down. He said, shut up. Read it again. Sit down and sit thee silent. He say, sit thee silent. And you tell somebody to sit and be silent, what you tell them? Shut up. Sh quiet, shut up. Shut up. And do what? Sit down silent and get thee into darkness. Get thee into darkness. Right. You see? Isaiah 16 and 2. That's why the darkness being ignorance make our people ignorant. That's why people don't know who we are. And we don't know our power. But they make sure that you don't know how to call on them. That's why you call on the name of Jesus. And when you call on the name of Jesus, they set up that white man to represent him. Until this day, man, they set him up. They set this dude up to represent your Jesus. So anybody right. calling on that, that's who they set up in 1492, right? Right. That's who they painted. Right. And it's still in the churches, in, in our, our grandmamas, our mamas, everybody's house. And we Israelites, man, that's a lot. You see? Con. But it, put it like this. If you don't see it, then you can't really understand it. You got to think in your mind. Let me figure out who he's talking about. 
You can look at this Last Supper picture and you look at that picture right there and you know who that is. That's who's been up in the churches. That's who's up in the churches right now. TBN got a big old picture of them right there on the wall. Going to churches down here on, uh, what's that, uh, West Angeles, man. Big old picture of Caesar Borgia on one end. It's bolted into the wall. They got another one for the Jehovah Witness on the other end. Two crackers on the wall, man. Which one, and it says God under it. Talking about our people is, is, is gonna come out of this madness, not with these pork chop eating preachers, man. Leading us straight down a, a, a road to hell. Straight up. You can't say, tell me that they love you. Or tell them to come and talk to me. Let's debate what I'm saying. They won't. They won't. We ain't just started this, man. It's been a movement since after slavery. Even during slavery, we've been dealing with this, man. Good. It's just our people don't know. All right, brother, black power. Israelite power. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You know what I mean? We've been dealing with this forever, man. This man is not going to, in other words, the, the truth couldn't come if it was all totally gone. Somebody always held on to it. The most I has had his elect man that never bowed the knee to Satan. Ever. And that's us, man. Coming back on this earth right now, those that are gonna be diligent will that's gonna do unto the end. This ain't about some time to think, man. You gotta do this. God. And be about it. You ain't no and, and you can't be no individualist, man. You gotta gather yourself together. Come and gather together, man. We got a church in Compton, 4205 Alondra Boulevard. Compton, California, 90221, man. Got to come, man. We have classes on uh, the Sabbath night, which is the the seventh day. Start from the first day. Today is the first day. So you start counting from the first day to the seventh day. That's the Sabbath. It starts from evening to evening, man. And we have Sabbath in the daytime. The next day, which is still the Sabbath day, from that evening to the next evening. You understand what I'm saying? And see, you got to start coming to class, man, and learn. Me. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 2. This is why people are polluted, man. He told Esau to shut up and get thee in the darkness. That's the so-called white man. He told him to shut up and get thee in the darkness, right? Get thee in the ignorance. Now what happened to the people? Wait. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. Darkness shall cover the earth. This is what we are now. Gross ignorance have been grafted into the people's mind where I tell you that your brain been polluted and not washed. B. Hosea chapter 4. Isaiah chapter 4. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know why? Get old Proverbs 1 and 7. You're going to continue to go for it. Because thou has rejected knowledge. You reject the knowledge, read. I will also reject thee. Or reject you, read. That thou shalt be no priest unto me. There can't be no pastors or priests to him, read. Seeing that thou have forgotten thy law of thy God. See? We forgot the law of the Most High. That's why we can't be no ministers and no priests. So if you anyone that's telling you ain't under the law, man, ain't no legitimate preacher. Right. Yes. I was reading in Revelation. And it's a verse in there, and it says, you get neither hot nor cold, and I'll spew you out of my mouth and cast you to the dark, utter darkness. And you just gnash you in the teeth. That's right. That's right, man. And I relate that to a lot of the congregation that's in the church itself. Because you have your false religious leaders who aren't leaders. They are wolves and she's clothing. Right. That's right. Ah. Gravity, gravity to mislead you and to take you into darkness. Right. Oh, that's right. what they already sold, they said. That's right. Right, huh? That's right. See? See what I tell y'all? You gonna get it like that in, in, on the street? 
See what I'm saying? Spirit, man. Where you at? The book of Proverbs. 